Hello everyone, welcome back for another video. In today's video, we're gonna unbox Vida Fit. I'm gonna go through some of the software and the hardware, so stick around and I'll show you. Thanks for tuning in to my channel, guys. For those who are new, my name is Bakken again. I'm an Amarai radiographer. In my channel, I'm covering things from basic to advanced Amarai topics, tutorials, unboxing, just like this one. So, if you haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. So, right behind me is the Vida Fit. As you can see, back in 2011, we got the Skyra installed. So, the Skyra we had for many years, but just recently, we installed this Vida Fit. Basically, uh, a Vida but it's fit because it's upgraded from uh, uh, Skyra. There's a big jump for us going from the Tim 4G, which is the Skyra's platform, to this new biometric system. It's just awesome. Many new features, and uh, I'm very happy so far, but nevertheless, I'm gonna go through some of the calls with you guys. And one of the big things that, uh, for me, of course, is the, the table. The table is all new, it's with the engine, so I'm gonna walk through with you guys and just see how it is. All right, so let's check the, the table. As we can see, the table is, is an engine in here. So you don't have any pedals up or down. There's nothing. You control everything with this one. So let me take you close here so you can see. So you see everything is controlled here. You have the stop button. And you can also see in the screen where you can undock it. Like this, just docked in, coil this plug. And now let's undock it. It's very easy. And then you have the opportunity to just slide up and down. And if you can see, now the, the wheels are activated and all the wheels are activated. So I can now easily control the table. If I just let go of one hand, I have the possibilities to slide to the side, both hands on. Go fast forward. All right, so let's dock it again. I just scrolled in and I just pushed the button and it's docked. And another feature you can see is the paper roll. The paper roll is a little bit different, it's easy. It's no pins or no nothing, it's just easy as that. And uh, the headphones. And the uh, alarm button is more or less the same. All right, the new thing about this is a 20 channel head coil neck. It's uh, very improved, better shimming and everything, so we get a better head neck images. And the most important thing, is, which is very cool, is this one. The, the tiltable, you have two sizes of tilting. As you can see here, it's very good for kyphosis patients. So you can adjust it two times, nine degrees and 18 degrees. It's very awesome. It's very useful. And that, that coil is new for us. Another thing I want to show you is that we have a 32 channel head coil, it's this one. It's very dedicated for the head, the brain only. So we use this for epilepsy cases and dedicated neuro cases. Another coil which is very cool is this ultra flex coil right here. It's 18 channel, it's very flexible so you can flex it through the arms, elbows, whatever you want, the knee. Awesome. And another coil is the Ultra flex also, 18 channels, very dedicated, and it's a, it's a small one, of course. It comes with this kind of cushions, so you, yeah, you have some kind of, it's meant to be in this kind of cushion, so you can wrap it around. It's very easy to use, it's flexible. Another coil we have is the foot ankle. The foot ankle is a new one for the Vita Fit. We couldn't use the old one, so we had to buy a, a new one. It looks the same. 16 channel and we also wanted to have two of those special purposes because we have many pediatric cases and also for the TMG uh, uh, imaging I think it would be very good we do this on 1.5 having two of those having close to 
TMG and uh, I think it will be very good on 3P as well. I haven't done it because we just recently got this scan installed, so it's a lot of things to do yet. But I will keep you updated, of course. And another thing which is very cool is this Biomatrix. It's a uh, Biomatrix uh, Body 18. It has automatically ECG inside of it. And uh, what is very cool is this part. You can see the cable. This is the, the short cable. But nevertheless, you have the opportunity to, like this, and change it to a longer cable. So it comes with two cables. For us, it came with two, one short and one long. So we have the opportunity to be, be extremely flexible with the, with the cable. And we got a lot of other cores, the head wrist and everything. And uh, one last core which just recently came, wait a minute. It's the 18 channel knee core. If you look into this where knee is, it's very round. It's not some kind of uh, oval or what you call it. It takes place for the knee. It's very round and very, it's big. So it will fit most of the patient, hopefully, this 18 channel. And another thing I noticed was this part. So instead of having like the cable going all the way around, you have the opportunity to lock it like that and transport it without destroying the cable. Very awesome design. Well, that's it of the coils. Uh, we have more coils, but uh, due to time, I want to show you the, a little bit of the software. So let's go to the software. All right, so let's check the software a little bit. So in front of me here, I have two big screens. Yeah, let me show you the screens. It's huge, it's extremely big. So this is a big jump for us when you're going from the old software to the new software or hardware as well. Nevertheless, uh, let's check the, the software. I was also thinking about making a dedicated video with, regarding the software. It's just a fast introduction of the software. So. All right, so in front of you here, you can see the, the software. You have system check, my exam cockpit, examination lock, and, and turn off the scanner. So the difference between this scanner and the scanner is whenever you want to turn off, you just have to shut down the system and go home. You don't need to wait until the end and, and push the off button. And examination, we don't have any patients today now, so it's, there's no patient here. But nevertheless, my exam cockpit right here, you have the Siemens one, and you have also the possibilities to Create your own ones, right? Uh, let's go into head and uh, let's check uh, different sequences here. Many of you guys already asked me regarding the deep resolve, deep resolve boost and how you can find it. So let's just find it right here fast. Uh, you can go into this T2. And the thing about this is that it's compatible with all the codes you have in front of you. So it'll be easy for you to reuse it across everything. So you have here in acceleration, and you can see this is a little bit different. This is XA50 uh, platform. So that's where Deep Resolve Boost is available when you have it on and off right here. So I turn it on now, and then you have the possibilities to boost to denoise and strength, low, medium, or high. This all depends on you. And if you want to make it sharper, you can also click it on. That's just a very short set regarding the Deep Resolve Boost. And of course, there are new features here, so that's why we don't want to just import the old Skyro protocol and, um, and just use it. We want to start from the very beginning and use all the new features which is available. That's also what I recommend you to do if you ever got an upgrade or, or a new uh, hardware. So don't import, export so easily. And there is also uh, compress sensing. Uh, let's check that. Like for example, tough. You have different compress sensing here. You have different presets of sequences. You can see here if you have a very high compress sensing, it's, uh, the scan time will be of course shorter. So let's check this one. Compress sensing is right here. You have acceleration, compress sensing, and then we have it. Uh, factor right the total factors you can control this let's say five and then you see the scan time goes up so you need to work on this optimize it and see what's good for you and then you have uh, 
a lot of different sequences here. There's, there's so many new things. You have wave, uh, as we, that's WI wave, which is make things faster, of course. It's a whole new approach right there. And uh, like I said, I can go through this uh, in another video in more details. And uh, let's just check the other screen. All right. So the first screen you just saw, the first screen is more of the exam where you're doing the examination, optimize, and you can you do the exam. And the second screen, which is right here, is more like it's more like the post processing. So you can do all the post processing here while you are doing the scanning. So it's more like that. Just in front of you here, you have an elbow which we just uh, tried to optimize, and we were using the ultraflex here, the coil which I showed you earlier, which is very flexible. It just flex it, and the patient is lying, not like Superman because that can be very hard in the long run. So his patient is lying on the back, and the arm just stretch out, and uh, yeah, it's more for the comfortable. You can see a T1 here. It's uh, it's combined with the deep resort boost. And also the, the stir here is, is very, it's a T2 way to stir. It's very hard uh, stir, which was done here. You can see it's very dark and then the fluid comes right forward. It's a PD way to right here. Uh, also deep resolve. The elbow comes very clearly here. And uh, yeah, it's, it's amazing. So uh, this is a T2. Same here, just a fast scan. I think this one took around 30 seconds or so. We just we did some testing. And uh, all in all, I'm very happy. Uh, it haven't been any artifacts or any um, hard solutions for us uh, since we got the scanner. We got uh, it all running from day one, and I'm very happy with the, the Siemens engineers in Norway and the team which made this uh, happen. So uh, another thing I want to show you, which is very different, is this one. You can see. The intercom is very different. And the good thing about this intercom here is that you can hear the patient much better. It's a two-way communication, it's much better. Besides that, we also have an injector from uh, Bayer. Across all the scanners, we have injector from Bayer, and this one is a new one, it's Experian, and we have with that one, so. Well, that's it, guys. All in all, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'm very sorry I've been uh, on YouTube lately because it's been summer and it's been installation of the scanner. So a lot of time goes to that. Uh, nevertheless, I'm back now and uh, more video will be coming uh, in the future from this scanner, specific from this scanner. And there will also be uh, showing new features and optimizing. And I will try to keep up with my videos as usual. And of course, thanks for following me and, and subscribing. And uh, do not forget to push the like button if you like this video. More of this video will come. And thanks for tuning in today. So I catch up with you on my next video. Peace out.